The first method of option pricing I'll show you is also the most known, the black scholes method. With this method, we have a closed formula um, which enables us to calculate the price of a call or the price of a put with S the underlying price, um, K the uh, strike, R the interest rate, T the maturity, Sigma the volatility, and we have also here uh, N which represents the cumulative normal distribution um, with D1 and D2. And black scores enables us also to calculate the, the Greeks um, with the delta, which is the sensitivity of the price to the underlying, gamma, the sensitivity of the delta to the underlying, vega, the sensitivity of the price to the volatility, theta to the time, and rho to the interest rate. To implement black score, we are going to use XLW to um, launch the function from Excel. Uh, I explained XLW in the previous video. Uh, as parameters, we have the, the normal parameters and uh, type, which is the, the put or a call, and function, which is the premium, the delta, or uh, all the other Greek. So first, we define all the variables. Uh, here, we have an error management, which enables us to throw all the error uh, we can have in a, in a text file. Um, so here, I got calls uh, D1, D1. Here D2, and uh, we have all the function of uh, the premium, uh, the delta, the gamma, the vega, the theta, the rho, and we return the function we want. To implement the cumulative normal distribution, we have used the Abramovitz and Stegen approximation, which is uh, defined uh, this way and phi, which is the derivatives of uh, the cumulative normal distribution, is here. So we launch the project. It's going to open Excel. We load the XLL. Uh, I previously saved a file, so here. And here I have all the, um, the, the, the parameters of black uh for uh, a range of uh, underlying. And if you want to use a new one, a black call, use function premium for, for instance, type call as 100 error 0, 0, 3k100 sigma 0, 3 and c1. And we have here the price. Uh, after you can do some graph uh, for uh, the premium here the delta the gamma the vega the theta and the rho in order to test the debug function we can for instance set uh, the parameters k to zero and we can see that if we're going to look in the error management we have uh, an error management with the calculus of d1 and we have here the line line 54 and if we gonna look in the code into the code we have here yes uh, it sends a divide by zero exception because k is equal to zero I finished here with uh, the black scrolls method a very interactive way to use this function is to create an ISP file which is uh, presented this way. It's like a website, but uh, very interactive. I'll show you how to do that in uh, the next video, and we will also see how to use other option uh, pricing methods.